welcome to today's edition of Hanky Panky. Today we're going to focus on how to clean your hankies. Um, you have to be very delicate with some of these products. So um, I start with, um, I, I like to wash in porcelain. And a lot of people ask me why I like to wash in porcelain. I think um, working with hankies is um, a calming experience for me. Um, I, I do it when I want to unwind and I think the porcelain just adds to the whole vintage experience. Um, it's not that you need to wash it in porcelain but um, you also get an idea of just how dirty these hankies are. Even when hankies appear to be very clean um, I'll show you some examples of that, but when they appear to be very clean, you're going to come across different um, kind of flaws. So what I start with is a little bit of cool water, um, not completely cold, just cool water in a porcelain container. Just a couple drops of dishwashing detergent. I'm not sure if I can tell you brands right now, so I'm just going to uh, share some basics with you. I also add probably about a tablespoon of a dry oxy powder. Uh, sometimes I use borax. What you're going to do is you're just going to stir the water very gently just to break up the, uh, the oxy powder that you poured in. There are a lot of different um, sort of problems that you're going to come across when you're doing hankies. Now this one's a little bit flawed. I see a hole, but that's okay. Um, people who are doing items like banners and and such can use that, but there appears to be a little bit of a rust stain on there. You see that there? Now what I do with, uh, with the rust stains is that um, I use a bleach stick. Now I don't want to use the brand that I use today, so I'm just going to kind of explain that to you. I use a bleach stick on those stains. I just put them very lightly, put some bleach on there. Um, if it's a hanky that is in a little bit better shape than this, I could use a soft toothbrush and just make sure I rub the bleach in before you put that in. Now some of these hankies do not look like they're stained at all, but this is a hand rolled hanky. This is probably from the early 50s. This is what's called white work. It's when they actually sew a pattern over a design and that's drawn thread. And um, But this is a very delicate hanky but it is very yellow. And if you see the water, once we soak it for an hour or so, the water starts looking like tea. My husband calls it tea you're going to come across hankies that are this one has a lot of of yellowing here I don't know if you can see that or not but it also has a tag what we want to do is to remove that tag be very gentle sometimes it leaves a little bit of paper residue but that one came off fairly clean so it should yep so that should not be a problem There's another very, very, no, that very, very delicate. This is a very fine cotton, and again, it's a hand rolled edge. This looks like an earlier hanky. This one might be from the 40s. So you're you're dealing with hankies that could potentially be, you know, 60, 70, 80 years old. Very, very delicate. That one is a very pretty hanky, but that is very that's very yellow. Um, in a future show, I'll show you, when I'm showing you how I iron these, um, I will show you what these hankies uh, turned out like once they're finished because it's amazing. This is the way that I like to buy hankies in this condition. If you go to uh, some sort of an antique mart, they might have the hankies already washed and pressed, but you're paying for that. It's a lot of work. This one has a little bit of a black spot on, but that doesn't look like a rust stain. I think that we can get that out just with the Oxy powder. Um, but when you're buying hankies and you're paying, you know, six, seven, eight, 
you know, even more per hanky. There's a, that looks like a little bit of a rust stain, but not too bad. That might come out. Um, when you're buying hankies that you're paying more for, you're paying not only for the, the hanky, but you're paying for the prep work because this is a lot of work to get them clean. And once you have all the hankies, you have to be very delicate with working with them because, like I said, some of this fabric is very old. Um, sometimes when you put the hankies in, especially when you get one like I showed you before, like that one there, that looks like it's probably, you know, a 70-year-old hanky. Um, sometimes when you take them out of the water, uh, the fabric has actually disintegrated. So you have to be very delicate with it. You can already see um, the water turning yellow here. But now what I do with this now is I let this sit like this usually for at least 24 hours um, just to soak. Sometimes if the water... You know, in a little while, if the water looks very, very yellow, I change the water. I put in new detergent, new oxy powder, and I let it sit again so that um, it'll get even, they'll get them even cleaner. Now, I have a lot of different kinds of porcelain dishes, uh, bowls that I use. That one was just a wash basin. This one is actually from uh, a refrigerated unit. I have a cover that goes with it, a little bit larger. All depends on how many hankies that I'm washing at a time. But I'm going to show you a little bit about washing uh, colored hankies. I did the same thing. This is so. This is pre-prepped. And some of these hankies now they do not look dirty at all, but they have a very unique odor. They smell like very old perfume. And as soon as they hit the water. It releases that odor, so it is kind of quite an experience just to, to wash them. A lot of very beautiful hankies. These look like they've never been used, but um, unless they have a label um, attached that says what you know who the manufacturer is, I tend to wash all of the brand new hankies. Um, they sell better if they're laundered. And that one. Isn't that beautiful? A big football mum. That's beautiful. You will come across you know, the same sort of rust stains, but I that one has a little hole too, a little flaw in that one. But I, I do tend to wash them first. You're not going to dry them in a dryer, so if there's a stain that you need to pre-treat on a hanky that has that is ivory or white. You can do that at a later date if, if you see that it just doesn't come through out with the with the soaking. Look at that one. See the beautiful hibiscus on there? Very, very pretty. Now there are a certain kind of hankies that you have to be very careful with. And those are hankies that are hand painted or they're silk or a satin hanky. This one is um, a hand painted hanky from Hawaii. Okay, just a souvenir hanky. Um, the paint does feel pretty um, um, secure on that hanky, but if I'm going to put them in with hankies that I'm soaking, um, you really have to watch them carefully um, because sometimes, depending on what kind of paint they use, they do start to the paint starts to release. And not only will it ruin your hanky that you're trying to wash, but you might ruin the hankies that are in already in the in the pot that you have soaking. Now this is a hanky that is um, you really have to be careful with. This is a silk hanky. Silk hankies have a totally different kind of uh, a rules for washing them because this silk hanky is probably I would say it's from the Hotel Cana Wego, um, about oh, Mount Granada in Pennsylvania. I took a look for this online, and this is a hotel that is no longer there, an old hotel. The grounds are still there, but um, I don't know if you can see that. But this is, it's, it is, you can see through this hanky, it is so old. Um, 
and like I said it is silk but once you start to wash this it will release all of the color so you literally only have to put it in for a couple of minutes if you want to clean it which I do I still clean them because I want them to be in better condition but you cannot put this on to soak so never soak silk same thing with this this is more of some sort of a a satin material here and these are some of these are a little bit more they've been hand painted um, so you have to be careful with anything that is not a cotton hanky like these um, these cutter hankies that we we've been want we've been using these are all safe to wash with different hankies but even there, there's a, a nice uh, Niagara Falls an older souvenir hanky but this is not hand painted this is actually done on um, you know printed onto the hanky and you can wash multiple different colors together um, I keep the white hankies totally different than the colors just like you're doing your lo your normal laundry even uh, blank hankies uh, blank black <laughs> hankies this hanky is a uh, a particularly pretty hanky, um, hand rolled hanky, but this is totally black. This is what's considered a mourning hanky. You would have brought something like this to a funeral, and um, so hankies like these generally do smell very strongly of perfume. So that's our episode for today. Um, next time we meet, I'm going to show you how we iron them and how we rinse them. This is the first, uh, the last step to washing after we soak them for at least 24 hours. The, usually the colored hankies only need about 24 hours. What we're going to do is we're, we take them out and we um, hand wring them very gently and because we don't want to damage the hankies, I just pick them up like this, squeeze all the water out. My water is already looks like tea if you can see that in the photo. See all the dirt that comes out in just a few minutes. But I take them like this, I pour the water out and you're going to fill it with cool water again and uh, maybe about three four tablespoons of white vinegar what the vinegar does is it releases all the um, the remnants of the of the cleaner um, it, it gives you a good rinse and it gives you a good start to um, being able to press them so thank you for joining us today if you'd like to, uh, if you've seen anything that you'd like today, uh, hankies that you might want to buy, you can check out my link to my eBay page below. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And if you have something in particular you'd like to see, um, please feel free to leave it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much for joining us today.